Today we are going to take a look at three different plugins for NeoVim. The first one is NeoVim Notify. Uh, this is a notification manager for NeoVim. It's a pretty fancy one, as you can see here. And all we need to do to uh, make it work or to set it as our default notify function is add this to our NeoVim configurations. And this way also other plugins will uh, start using notify. And the next thing that we want to set up is Lua line, which is a status line for NeoVim. And here they have uh, given us some screenshots to see how it uh, can look like. There's also some custom looks that you can uh, create. And then we also want to install and set up uh, BarBar. And BarBar is a tab line plugin for NeoVim. Uh, what this does is allows us to use the buffers that we have open uh, to make them behave like tabs as you would uh, normally use in text, other text editors. And it also comes with a set of uh, key bindings that they give us in the uh, uh, repository, or we can basically copy paste it and uh, add it to our key bindings. And uh, the default key bindings that they have given here are actually pretty nice. So we can easily navigate through our different buffers. Uh, so yeah, so let's start by installing the Notify plugin. Now, because they don't, at least I haven't found a snippet for the uh, for Packer. I'm just gonna copy paste this this here at the top from the URL, and then we can go to our Packer config file, and then add it to our list of plugins. Reload and run Packer sync. So yeah, NeoFim Notify has been installed. And then we can go to our settings and then just add this right here. Another reload everything. And I'm gonna reload everything. And go to our next plugin, which is uh, Lua Line. So for Lua Line, uh, we can where is it? Yeah, we can copy this right here. Uh, if you don't have NeoVim Web Dev icons installed yet, yeah, then you can copy paste everything. But uh, in case you do ha already have it installed, then you just need this right here. And then go to your uh, packet config file again and paste it right there. And run dual file to reload and then run back a sync. Yeah, and I can also see that the notify function, uh, notify plugin is working right here. So that is set up. Then we can make a different module for Lua line. So call it, I'm going to call it Lua line config init.lua. And then scroll down. Now we can add this right here. Uh, because there's just some small things that I want to change for Lua line. And that is basically uh, the this part right here, the component separators and section separators. Uh, it looks, we actually have to take a look at how it looks like by default. Um, so to do that, I need to actually um, add it to our main config file, of course, That's something that I forgot to do. So at our dual line module, uh, dual line config, and then if we reload, yeah, so this is how Lua line looks like by default, the standard uh, status line. But um, we can make it look a little bit more simpler, or uh, you can customize it and to show you how to do that. Uh, I'm just going to make some simple changes here. And what I'm going to change is this right here, the component separators. Uh, so if we add, if we go back to our uh, Lua line uh, setup, then what we can do is uh, add this here, options. 
and then copy paste this here and what I want to change if I go to uh, the cheat sheet for nerd fonts if you want to make this work you do need the uh, new film web dev icons plugin and a nerd font install uh, let's see I want to look, look for triangle and then use this so if I'm not mistaken uh, I want to change this right here to that one and this icon into this one and then for the component separators I'm just gonna leave them blank so I can delete that and then what we can do is just reload so you can see the changes yeah, and now it looks like this I like this look a little bit better but yeah go whatever floats your boat the next thing that we want to set up, so yeah, as you can see, that was pretty easy, depending on how much you want to configure yourself. The next one is bar bar, and we can you go to the install section, and then copy the uh, what's it the uh, uh, plugin here, oh, not here. Go yeah, yeah. add it right here. Save and then reload and run back a sync. Yeah, and as you can see, after we installed it, it, it immediately added the tabs here at the top. Uh, but we want to customize it a little bit. So if we go to our key bindings, uh, just right here, we can add our bar 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 mappings right below this and to do so we have to scroll down a little bit to this right here and just copy paste this part right here so when it comes to uh, the key bindings uh, I like the ones that they already have given as an example so I'm not going to change anything so here, you, as you can see, you can use Alt comma to uh, go to the pre cycle through the previous buffer, uh, Alt dot to uh, cycle to the next one. You can use uh, what is this? The uh, ankle bracket, yeah, ankle bracket uh, to uh, move the previous or uh, uh, move the buffer to the previous or next uh, one, and then use Alt one all the way to nine and zero to uh, go to the specific uh, buffer you want to and Alt C to close a buffer. So yeah, I'm gonna save this and then uh, reload. So it should work now. If I, for example, do Alt one, wait, do I, did I, Alt one. Yeah, so Alt one works, Alt two, Alt three, Alt four, Alt five. And then you can use, uh, what is it, comma and dot to cycle through them. So yeah, that's pretty nice. And I can do Alt C to close. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. And the one thing that I want to change in the uh, uh, in the tabs here is basically remove the line to separate them. And to do that, um, yeah, to do that, what I'm going to do is create a different module for Barbar. And then it got Lua. Go to the top and let's see if we scroll down to this part here uh, set bar bar options for lua and then just copy paste this part right here and then let's see uh you can for example add animations um And also do this uh, closable I think I don't know if this is actually by default already true but I'm just gonna add them just in case uh, here I can separator and 
for active and inactive uh, buffers. Maybe we format, and here I just I'm gonna delete that pipe symbol and save. And if I reload, oh no, not yet because I haven't added to the uh, main config file. So this should be bar bar config. Now for reload, it should work, but it doesn't. Maybe I have. Oh, it does work actually. So if I close, yeah, as you can see, the pipe symbol has disappeared. Uh, so we don't have that anymore to separate our different buffers. So yeah, that's pretty nice. I like this uh, look a little bit better. But yeah, if you want to leave them, it's up to you or change it into something else entirely. Yeah, all, that's all up to you. So yeah, that is uh, where I want to end this video.